So, how to motivate you? See, when your car doesn't start, somebody has to push. Once it gets going, after that we don't have to push it all the way, then it'll go. We can teach you ways when you start experiencing it as a part of you, it fires you up. You must fall in love with somebody or something. If you don't find a somebody, you must fall in love with something. Something means something to you, you will wake up in the morning. Nothing means anything to you, where is the reason to wake up in the morning? How do you fall in love? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> when first, when Shiva wanted to teach yoga to his first disciple, which was his own wife Parvati, she was very eager to learn the way to enlightenment because she saw him as a glorious being and she wants to become like him. She said, how oh, I'm ready to do anything. Shiva said, no need to do anything, just come sit here on my lap. She hesitated because, oh, I don't want to be petted, I want to be enlightened. He said, relax, come and sit here. She sat here. She pulled her closer, not out of his needs, to fulfill her need. And he pulled her so closer, 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 and slowly she became a part of him. So there is a dimension of Shiva which we call as Ardhanari, where one half is man, one half is woman. What the imagery is trying to tell you is that it's only by inclusion, it's only by inclusion that life will blossom. If you have to include something into yourself, there must be space, isn't it? <laughs> if I have to make somebody a part of myself, I have to throw out half of me, out, only then. That's why the expression falling in love, not rising in love, okay? <laughs> not standing in love, not climbing in love, falling in love because a part of you has to fall, only then there will be space for something else or somebody else. If all of you, f the whole of you falls down, there will be enormous space. You can include the whole cosmos as a part of yourself. If at least a part of you falls down, you may fall in love with one more human being or one more aspect of creation. So, we can teach you ways to empty yourself. If a part of you falls down, that empty space has to be filled with something. And that something which is not you, when it becomes a part of you, when you start experiencing it as a part of you, it fires you up because right now, what you think is me is not you, just a bundle of thoughts, emotions, ideas and prejudices, isn't it? That's not you. So what is you has not come into experience. So how to motivate you? Hmm? When you're not yet, how to get you going? You're not yet. Right now all that is there is a bundle of thoughts a cloud of thoughts and emotions and all kinds of stuff, isn't it? So that's why the sadhana, you must come and do some sadhana. Initially somebody will motivate you. See, when your car doesn't start, somebody has to push, okay? <laughs> Once it gets going, after that we don't have to push it all the way, then it'll go. So initially nothing wrong using a little bit of a push, everybody needs a push. There are very few people who can propel themselves from step one. Most others need push, often on a little kick here and there. <laughs> the rest they will do. 